everyone and welcome back to From Our Basement Gaming. Hi everybody. This is part 40 of our Echo the Dolphin Defender of the Future Let's Play. <sighs> 40 parts, I think this is a record. Yeah. Alright. thing last time, so we just need to do it again. Yes, so I have a bit of a dry voice. Um, right. So Connor will be handling a lot of the commentary this time. Yep. So we apologize. It'll be a little bit less of a conversation this time. Um, and uh -huh. that may be the case as well for next week's episode. Right. Uh, Poor Kevin's been feeling a little under the weather, unfortunately. Yeah. We're hoping uh, it won't be much longer than that, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see by December what <laughs> it sounds like. Right. Because, fair warning, if I'm the only one talking in the next few episodes, that is the reason why. It would also help if I didn't get killed. Apologies, Elsa. We're a little bit out of practice. Uh, but, uh, well, we're back in the ocean with our friend Echo. And I overshot again. <laughs> The <laughs> yeah, this is not gonna go well. <laughs> Wrong Too little, too late, because the daggone thing hit, boops me to death. Yeah. We do have um, a few videos that we have ahead of time. Yes. Where I will be talking. We 
these daggone sharks. The gang up on it. And the Dagon thing wore off. Well, now that we've seen him just simply grab and eat that dolphin again. Yikes is right. Accident. I did not mean to call on our beaver friend. We've been watching a lot of angry beavers. And I was surprised to learn that Norbert also used Deck as a word to replace another word. He did. Yeah. Maybe at one point. Oh? Or I'm wondering if it was a mistake, but thanks to um, Richard Horvitz's um, ability to improvise, I think they worked it in. Oh, what's that? Uh, I don't know if you remember, but he was like, it's like it's simple. Instead of, it's simple, dang it. He said, it's dang it simple. And dang it was like, dang it simple. So, yeah. Uh, I love those two. <laughs> And Richard Horovitz had on. Horvitz. Horvitz, sorry. <laughs> you always sound like you're saying Horovitz to me. Ah, my mistake. Yeah, they, they had really good chemistry. Almost like Red Brothers. Yeah, they did, yes. Another reason why I still to this day really love that show. And it's awesome that Kevin and I can connect with that. Oh, you rotten scoundrel. Echo 
okay, we'll just sim. Green goes white. Uh, headache inducing. Yeah, you might want to avoid this one, Kev. Echo, white. That was weird. I think the game just glitched because it bit like it was trying to eat Echo, but Echo was like a country mile away from the squid and some unknown gravitational force dragged poor Echo into his... You mean the eel? Yeah, into where the eel was. All right, let's try this again. Yay. Sorry about my jokes, ladies and gents. I'm trying to keep my hopes up. I know, I'm not the most... I'm a little random when it comes to improv. It's okay. I know I'm putting a lot of pressure on <sighs> Luckily, I can still talk. Good. I know, it's it's not easy on you. Yeah, my voice is going to I've been hurting. Basically, I was coughing for three weeks, so it's going to yeah. take Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to help my buddy out, because it's horrible when your voice acting and your voice is on the front. Now, don't worry, guys. I've been taking a break. I haven't been voice acting with the voice. Right. Kevin's not, uh, Kevin's not that kind of guy. That would be a career. Yeah. I forget which voice actor you told me about who voice acted until he bled. Uh, he, well, yeah, even the professionals have stuff like that. Thankfully, he was fine. He just had to... Um, yeah, that was supposedly um, the voice of Bowser. Whoa. Where he did. Um, cat. Uh, cat Bowser. And he had to do like this roar that was like the kitty meow and his Bowser roar. Wow. And so intense that it did cause his throat to bleed. Woof. Yeah. Also, let's see, yeah. Uh, but thankfully, he recovered. Yes. It's also, is it really dark on...
grenade stand. You see it? Oh, it's between it. It's right where you are. So it was with you. Um, right. <laughs> sure. Uh, pardon us, uh, not input. We want... Uh, menu. Exit, please. Okay. As to me, the menu is really bright, so I don't know why it's so dark in the level. Good question. Yeah. This is not... Sharks, eh? Okay. Well, earlier today we were watching a lot of videos involving weird, creepy sounds. And realizing that, uh, well, one, a lot of people scare easily, and two, it's a bad idea to watch that junk late at night. But I think we could have told the viewer of the video he was watching that. Sure, we got. Oh. All right. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Come on. Eh? Those things hurt you? Why would you do such a thing, Level? Mm. Okay, come on now. Yikes. Yikes indeed. Air 
bubbles. Screw that up on purpose. That left that much amount of energy left to work that puzzle. Part of the rock will always give you a fish. Yeah. Very strange. Okay. Indeed. I just got eaten by this daggone eel. At least it's roughly where I need to be. Inside that waterfall. Oh, I thought we saw it. There. Again, yeah, it's not the most 
most pleasant levels to deal with. The struggle is real. No echo. much lining up. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay. I feel like I'm flying around like a fool. Thanks. And then the last ingredient So by now, uh, hopefully if you're, you've got the general idea of how to get to the... Now remember there's a delay on the monitor. That's right. Shark hits me with his freaking boot nose. Oh. You only have one minute. That we do. All the stress, all the stress. <laughs> oh, wow. 
All right, guys. We this will. is the end of this episode. We'll see you in the next one. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Take care. Uh, okay, that's it. <laughs>